Hello students, we are going to do the Narayanpur incident today. The story is written by Shashi Deshpande, born in 1938, who is an award-winning Indian novelist. She received the Sahitya Academy Award in 1990 and Padma Shri in 2009. 8th August 1942 was a momentous day in the history of India. Mahatma Gandhi launched the Quit India movement. It called for mass civil disobedience and non-violent protest across the country. Gandhi ji managed to communicate to the masses only through the word of mouth. In this text, Shashi Deshpande describes the struggle and challenges that the freedom fighters faced. So, let us start with the text. 8th August 1942 the Quit India movement begins Babu and Manju suddenly find themselves part of this when their schools close down and their father is put beh- behind bars now put behind bars means he has been put in the jail he must be part of the movement and that's the reason he's been put behind the jail and their schools have been closed down Their brother Mohan becomes involved in the movement and the rest of the family moves to the small town of Narayanpur. So Mohan has become involved in the movement also and the family has moved to a new place what is the name of the town that is Narayanpur. But now Mohan has turned up to Narayanpur with his friend Suman and the Quit India movement has gained momentum has gained momentum means gathered more supporters and became more active babu decides to watch a procession that mohan is taking part in and takes manju with him their mother does not know about their plan so the children leave the key to their house with their neighbor now the neighbor's name is ramabai read on to find out what happens Now said Manju impatiently tell me where we are going to watch a procession walk fast we may be late so Manju is asking her brother where are we going so he answers to watch a procession there is a procession so he ask her to walk fast and because they might get late what procession whose procession where you sound like rama bai said babu did she leave you a quick lesson Now he is asking why are you sounding like Ramabai does she give you any lessons for doing this oh be quiet about ramabai tell me babu did what procession the college students are taking out a procession from their college to the collector's office now a collector is a government official who is responsible for a district tax collection and day to day functioning mohan told me we would watch He says it's going to be peaceful so that is what the answer Mohan gives There were already some people lining the road means they were uh, lining up the road to watch the procession Manju and Babu found a good spot op- almost opposite the gate of the collector's compound so they were standing exactly uh, ex- uh, exactly opposite the collector's compound where they could see the procession clearly They had to wait for some time for some time for the procession to start soon they heard the magical words they are coming they are coming the children like the others rushed out policemen appeared all along the road so there was policemen standing over there okay some of them walked in front of the students some by their sides but the students marched as if the police didn't exit exist that means they were not bothered about their present or not they were not scared they was just marching on with what they had in their mind they walked in complete silence there was no slogan slogan is you know short phrases that are shouted during the procession no shouts just the shuffle of feet shuffle of feet is the sound of the walking feet and a low murmur and everybody was just murmuring something from the watching crowd who watching crowd who were watching them were just murmuring saying something in a very low voice babu and Mun- manju looked eagerly for mohan yes there he was dressed in white pajamas and a cream colored kurta with another boy but holding a loft a picture of mahatma so that's what he was carrying in his hand a picture of mahatma Their arms must have ached holding it up that way for so long 
but their faces were expressionless now what they were holding they were holding the picture of mahatma now the leaders of the procession had reached the bar gate bar here is blocked to prevent entry the police officer he was the dsp dsp is the deputy superintendent of police that's a rank in the police force of india so mohan told them later what did mohan tell them that the one who the officer that who had come up to him he was the tsp came up to them there was some conversation between him and the students the students seemed to be arguing then one of them handed him a piece of paper and there was some discussion between the students and then they i handed up the paper to him he took it without glancing at it and nodded he just took the paper and he just nodded his head the students turned their back to him and one of them shouted mahatma gandhi ki jai jai the others shouted back loudly and then they briskly marched back the way they had come is that all asked manju in disappointment she was disappointed now what else did you want a dance a drama babu asked scornfully Scorn- scornfully here means in a way that shows that he was he thought what she is saying is silly but he understood her feeling and asked mohan the same question when he returned home why did you go back so quietly were you scared of what the police the police would do so he is asking him that why did you go back so babu is asking mohan why did you go back so quietly why were you scared of them mohan seemed immensely pleased with himself scared we had planned it this way he said scared he is asking him scared no we had planned it this way we knew they expected us to protest and be violent so that is what the uh, people were uh, the policemen were expecting so oh yes they wanted us to do that so that they could beat us up haul us away to jail so he saying that is what they expected and they expected that they they would beat them and hold us away to jail means drag us to jail but we are not prepared to go to jail he says mohan says but we don't want to go to jail what was the point then he says what is the point of doing all this babu asked while manju listened earnestly earnestly is intensely it's like a declaration of war we told them now that this is war and for us you are the enemy so he's saying he's you know revealing what their intention was and what was the paper you gave the policeman so he's asking what was written in that paper so mohan says that was a notice what is a notice a written warning that something will happen we served to the collector so it was given to the collector as a representative of his majesty's government government his majesty is the king of england who was the head of the british government in india asking them to quit india or face the consequences what do you mean by face the consequences it means accept the bad effect or result of their actions suman and another boy turned up after they had finished their dinner that night the boy staggered in with a large newspaper covered parcel in his hand now staggered it means walked as if he might fall because of the heavy object he was carrying here let me help you said mohan my room okay amma no i think the puja room is better a light there will look more normal right as usual amma the puja room then the boy went away after a whispered conversation with suman then suman amma and mohan went into the small puja room where did you, they go they to, took something with them and they went to the puja room babu and manju start stared curiously over their shoulders at the mysterious parcel which turned out to be a cyclo styling machine so what they were carrying in their hands was a cyclo styling machine what is that it is a machine used in the past to make many copies of a letter or document quickly so the latest version of that would be a xeroxing machine okay so babu said mohan as they settled down to work sit out in the front room and keep a watch so he told that you can sit in the front room so that means they are doing something suspicious that the, it doesn't have to go out like the 
maybe the policemen could come and catch them so they say i said go outside and see if somebody comes give them a warning give us a warning if anyone seems to be coming to your house manju go to bed or else so manju is asked to go to bed or else even she could come and help he went on noticing her crestfallen face crestfallen means disappointed or sad you sit here in the hall and pass on babu's warning to us so babu is watching if somebody comes he would tell he would you know tell uh, manju and manju would pass on the message to them who is inside mohan and amma amma suman and mohan got to work at once manju peered at them from the hall in a little while she began to feel drowsy drowsy feel, she is feeling sleepy now and had to struggle not to doze off so that she doesn't wa- uh, fall off to sleep babu sat outside alert and attentive he felt a thickening in his throat that means he felt suddenly excited and emotional it was beginning and at last he was doing something suddenly he tensed a man riding a bike stopped right so- right, right outside their gate yes he was getting off he was opening the gate babu flung himself inside that means babu ran inside manju tensed a startled face to him and she was also very surprised someone coming in there was silence everybody was silent from inside the puja room three faces looked at him then amma got up and came out followed by mohan suman stayed inside and mohan closed the door of the room manju to bed babu you to so what was uh, what were they told they were told manju and babu were told to go to bed there was a lock on the door babu rushed to his room unrolled his bed roll and threw himself on it so what he was told he did it did it immediately now bed roll is a soft thin mattress that can be rolled up when it is not being used who's there amma called mohan go and see who it is so amma said mohan go and see who has just come manju who had got into her bed to notice that though amma's voice was steady her hands trembled so though her voice was steady her hands were trembled means it was shivering there was shivering mohan came in saying amma it's patel the sub inspector so mohan informed amma who has come there the sub inspector i haven't come to trouble you a strange voice said who's whom uh, do you think this strange voice is it is of the sub inspector your husband was my friend in school i am a friend so he says i am a friend of yours i have not come here to trouble you amma got up quickly and went out manju waited a moment and followed her waited and then she went behind her there was babu coming out of his room making a show of having woken up of a deep sleep so they were showing that actually they were sleeping he was in a deep sleep babu was showing that okay and making a show of means doing something in a way that makes the other people notice it the man was saying to amma yes we were in school together oh he was please patel sahib said amma rather impatiently tell me why you are here so she's asking that why you are here tell me the reason it's like this there's going to be a search of your house so he informs there's going to be a search in the house when this is amma asking most probably tonight he informs that sub inspector is informing that it's going to be tonight i heard the sahibs talking they were speaking of a cyclo styling machine so they were talking of the same machine that they have got it seems you people are making copies of the mahatma speech so they have got the information that uh, these people are making mahatma gandhi's copies speech copies they say you have people hiding here as well so they have come they've got one more information that there are people hiding there ha mohan scoffed scoff means laughed at someone or said something in a such a way that you show that person that you have no respect for them 
but you have the cycle styling machine so he's asking do you have the machine no said mohan angrily you're wasting your time spy uh, spying on us so he's saying you're wasting your time just you know keeping an eye on us tell me the man ignored mohan and spoke to amma now whatever mohan was saying the sub inspector was ignoring him yes amma replied simply and mohan made an angry hisses hissing sound why is he making that sound because uh, amma is telling him the truth which he feels it shouldn't be revealed he does not trust this person because he is a sub inspector and he is working for the britishers where is it inside now this inside amma is saying give it to me i will get it out of the way so he says give it to me i will take it away somewhere else mohan burst out again amma what are you doing how can you trust a policeman exactly that's what he's thinking that you cannot trust a policeman because he's working for the britishers the man touched mohan on his shoulder mohan you're still very young i'm a policeman yes but your father was and still is my friend so they both are friends and he says that i really we were really good friends and this is my country as much as it is yours so he says this is my country i'm doing it for my country now give it to me quickly so he says go and get out the machine quickly so that i can save you people amma opened the door of the puja room and said suman she called out for suman suman emerged looking anxiously at them she was worried what has happened amma some smiled at her and said you have to get away take away all the material mohan will you so she, she said will you please take away whatever is here you have to get away from here mohan ducked into the puja room and locked the machine out and gave it to patel so mohan got the cycle styling machine locked means carry or drag it with great effort he got it out of the puja room and he gave it to patel who's the sub inspector do you have a large bag means fairly large bag the man asked manju amma began but babu had already got it and then and then they were gone patel mohan and suman the house seemed unbelievably quiet after the earlier activity because there were so many people and everybody was busy talking to each other so it it is really quiet since everybody has gone let's go to bed amma suggested mohan came back shortly suman manju asked him anxiously she's all right so she's asking where is suman so she said he said she's all right go to bed manju amma said bed with the police about to come it was impossible now the real the police who is going to search their house is going to come so they are tensed up about it so it was impossible for them to sleep but nevertheless she did drop off she did sleep for some time but came out of her sleep to hear a loud knock at the door it was repeated so she was woken up by the loud knock at the door who is it amar called open the door a strange voice order so there was someone who was ordering them to open the door mohan see who it is said amma it was like going through something all over again why going through all over again the same thing had happened before a police inspector had come and now the same thing is happening but this time they knew for sure that it wasn't a friend standing outside why it wasn't a friend because now they are the real police and the one who had come before was a friend of their father who had helped them out okay no need for mohan to announce amma it's the police they already knew it was the police